<laughs> I've got this outstanding quality horse manure. Do you think she would react positively to that? I actually am curious to try. I love you. Here's some of my horse poop. It's outstanding quality horse poop. Oh, she liked it. Oh, good. I, I knew she would. I knew she would. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my little horsies mini series. So if you missed it, I posted one episode playing with these sims a few days ago. After the horse pack came out, I really wanted to make a little mini let's play where I could try and play through some more of the pack. So if you want to go back and watch that video, I'm going to link it down below. In it, I kind of explained who the sims were and we got started with some skill building. We also ended up adopting a second horse. So now I've got two sims, two horses, a goat, and a sheep. And I think today I want to work through trying to master some competitions and also maybe see if Annie wants to start dating the ranch hand. Although the ranch hand is a little bit glitchy because I haven't seen her in about a day. So maybe I'll call her up and try to hire her again. Yeah, that's so weird. I don't really understand why it does that, but whatever. <laughs> I've called her back up. Hopefully today it works better. She's here now. Well, good morning. You look pretty today. Oh, she's talking to my goat. Thank you. Ooh, I think the flirting is working. Wait, do it again. Exchange numbers. That's casual. Wait, it worked. <gasps> I'm gonna take the ranch hand. Courage to breed with. I probably shouldn't do that yet, huh? I really, really, really don't need a third horse right now. <laughs> that would probably be a bad idea. I need to work on these two horses that I have before I go and get a third one. Actually, I think I might try and help work on Mayo's skills today. We'll see if she wants to work on some barrel racing. So currently, we've got level five of the horse riding skill. Mayo has level two agility and that's it. But Greg is doing pretty well well. He's got level five jumping now. We haven't actually gone out for a ride anywhere in public. You know what? Annie hates horse riding. She's not into it. What if we tried to go out and like ride a horse out in the environment together? Like all four of us? We could head out to the gulch and go for a ride and see how Annie reacts because I think that she'll probably do a really bad job. Obviously at this point Sky is becoming a quite confident rider but um I don't know if Annie has literally ever gotten on a horse before so <laughs> I don't think she would be thriving. You know what? How are our needs. Are we all good? Let's just go. Let's just go now. There's nothing like making your sims suffer. Let's all head out. Okay, we might have to switch horses though because Annie really does not like Greg. She's a little bit scared of Greg. So I might I might have Annie ride Mayo and you can ride Greg. <laughs> oh no, the ranch hand's inviting me out. I can't go right now. I'm busy. Okay, here we go. Annie, it's your first time. You're gonna ride a horse. I believe in you. You can do it. Maybe I should have had her ride the other horse because Greg does have a higher temperament skill. Greg a little bit nicer to new people. She managed to get on though. Is it a bad idea to go for an energetic ride? Maybe. I'll make her do it anyway. Dislikes horse riding. Oh, the horse is peeing. Yeah, you kind of hate that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she looks miserable and she's barely started. Oh no. You got this. You can do it. You can do it. All right, let's ride this horse too. You could actually go for an intense ride if you wanted. Look at how much smoother that is. <laughs> Poor Annie is doing like the worst job. You'll get better. You'll improve. You might end up liking it. Maybe if you don't get thrown off. <laughs> <laughs> They're going so slow too, we've almost caught up to them. That's actually kind of a cool screenshot with both the Sims in it. Oh, who are you? Faye Harris. Oh, hey, you've got a horse? Is that your horse? Hold on, I realize I haven't saved my game once, literally not a single time. Let me do that quickly. <laughs> Did you adopt a horse? Oh my god, Moon Pie. The Harris family from Eco Lifestyle actually got a horse. That's kind of cool. That is one of the new neighborhood story things that you can select. You know how before you could set it to like allow Sims to die, allow Sims to have babies, allow them to adopt dogs and cats. You can now set so the world can adopt horses. I'd almost be curious to go look and see if anybody else got a horse. Oh, hello? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not a good idea that you got, you've been asked out on a date, should I say yes? No, no, I do not think that's a good idea. You should not do that. You should not go on the date. No. Oh, it pooped. Okay, try again. Go for an energetic ride. You got this. She does not got this. She hates this. We're both gonna end up peeing our pants from this, but that's probably okay. There's bushes out here, so it'll be fine. I'm not worried. I'm getting a little bit worried, actually. <laughs> now that I'm uncomfortable, I'm, I'm starting to get a little worried. Have you seen a bush? Surely if it gets bad enough, she'll get off. Oh, there we go. There's a bush right there. Yeah, if it's bad, she'll probably get off the horse and go pee, right? Annie is currently very angry from having a really bad time. <laughs> the difference in their demeanor right now is amazing. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You compare it up close, she hates it. I feel bad making them keep doing it, but I'm kind of trying to train the horse's skill a little bit too. Uh-oh, the time has come. We're gonna pee our pants. Oh, you found 
the toilet. Oh, that's good. How far away is it? No, don't use that. There's a bush right here. You can use this bush. Take an angry poop. Take an angry poop? Oh, no wonder she wanted the toilet and not the bush. Oh no. Okay, well speaking of poop, this is ours, so I'll pick it up. You know what else? There is like a little cave out here in this area. If you come down this way, we can enter and try to explore the cave. She doesn't want to ride the horses, so maybe you could work on that. It's so pretty up here with the flowers. We could have them eat dinner here. We could use the campfire and, and stay up here. You could even bring a sleeping bag and just stay here if you wanted. That actually might be an idea for us to try tomorrow. For now though, I'm gonna try and practice some barrel racing with this horse. Oh, wait, we're in the cave. Level one, hang in there, bat. Coming across a small clearing, a large bat swings down from its perch and beckons Annie forward, seemingly offering a challenge to see who can stay upside down the longest. Annie takes a deep breath and boldly steps up for the contest. Okay. <laughs> I tried offense and I managed to get it. Let's intensely train on the barrels while Annie's in there. What's the other horse doing? Just existing? Level one, strong-armed bear. As Annie meanders through the dark and foreboding cavern, a loud roar is heard nearby. Annie turns and finds a mammoth strong-armed bear standing with its claws in plain view. With a snarl, it extends its paw out, challenging Annie to an arm wrestling match. Okay, offense. Oh, the creature did four damage to us. Uh-oh. The bear growls and digs its claws into Annie's hand. The match continues. Offense. Six damage to Annie. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Defense? We got some health back. Offense. There we go. We defeated it. Okay. Giant spider. Annie steps through a cavern doorway draped with silken string. Eight eyes blink in the darkness and a giant spider emerges from the shadows. Its eight appendages donned in orange tennis shoes twist and turn into some sort of arachnid dance. It looks at Annie expectedly. A dance challenge has been issued. Offense. Seven damage. Okay. Okay, offense. We got a potato and I got a hot tea. <laughs> what? From out of the dark, a skeleton leaps forth, holding a bone-shaped microphone. Spitting out some sick rhymes, the skeleton has a bone to pick with Annie. The rap battle has begun. I beat it. And I got orange juice? How am I getting so many drinks in this? Oh no. There's a door with some kind of writing on it. Speak, ba, and enter. What could this mean? Well, I know for a fact I need a sheep and I don't have one, so... We can't open the door. She's dazed from the great dread horse escape, but somehow still more uncomfortable. <laughs> Poor girl. Okay, we can go back home. No, wait, actually don't go home. I wanted to try and make food. Can you light this? How long is it gonna take you to get up here? Oh, probably ages, huh? Uh... Close your eyes. Look, she made it. Great, <laughs> light the fire. Here, you can roast some veggie dogs. We'll have that for dinner together. Are you not gonna do it? This is such a cute little area. I love the world from this pack. I, it's really been so much fun to explore. <gasps> Poop, wait, don't sleep. No, 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 no. Can you pick this up, please? We'll go home after that. I just need to make sure I collect as much poop as possible. Oh, poor quality horse manure. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> the horses must not be having a good time today. Let's go back home. Okay, let's all go to sleep. We're kind of struggling here, so we'll just go to bed. Wait, the ranch hand is still here. Oh, the horsies are hanging out. That, oh, there's a vampire. Okay, immediately the day is worse. I, <laughs> I was excited. Now Caleb's here, no longer excited. What do you think she's gonna do? She's just standing there. Oh, I think she just harvested stuff. Now she's just standing there. Can I help you? Oh, look at my horsey asleep outside. This is actually really, really, inconveniencing me because her being here is making it so I can't triple speed. Oh, she's grilling. Oh, de-stressing. Wait, that might be helpful. You know who needs that? Annie. <laughs> she hates it here. I'll let you keep some. You know what? Now might be a good time to use some of our horse manure to fertilize these plants. Then you can craft me some grape nectar. How about that? And then I think today I might enter both the horses into a competition. Is that an apple tree? How did, okay. How did that get there? That is a genuine question. Cause my apple tree is right here. So did, did the ranch hand plant that? Or did that grow out of a horse poop? I guess it's possible it could have grown out of a horse poop because I, I did have some. Oh, I just found some outstanding quality horse manure in the grass. Thank you very much. I will take that. All right. I think what I'll do is intensely train on the barrels for a couple hours this morning and then I'll maybe take them both to go enter some competitions. We're slowly filling up the nectar rack down here too. I don't think any of these things will be like aged at all. Oh, this one's lightly aged. Look at that. We're getting somewhere. If I could find the goat. Oh, here we go. I think it's eating the weeds. And it must be working because I haven't seen a single weed this whole time. The goat is watching me trade on the barrels. Look at that. That's so cute. I love these little guys. Oh, that's a sheep, not a goat. Sorry. <laughs> 
my god. That is, okay. D um, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Ew, it pooped in the plants. Although I guess it pooping there in the plants probably is one of the better places it could poop. <gasps> the horse just threw me off. Greg, why would you do that? I wanna go practice jumping for like an hour or two and then we can go enter some contests. And then I think tonight, oh no, wait a minute. Do I have a thermostat? It is very hot. Let me get the AC on here quickly. But I was gonna say, I think tonight I might try and go on that date we've been talking about. They're talking through the fence. You can go between the fences, you know. Oh my God, Bess. Bess, I am absolutely not under any circumstances giving you a thousand dollars. Oh my, okay, let's go enter some competitions. <laughs> I'll bring all the horses, I guess. Oh no, bucked off horse, overheating. No, 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 I need to be in a better mood. I wanna win. Can we be friends, please? Please? I can't be uncomfortable. Oh, okay, I spoke too soon. I'm no longer uncomfortable. <laughs> That's fine. All right, I think I'll enter with Greg. Maybe that expert Western pleasure competition. I don't know if we'll win, but it's worth a try. Mayo is very uncomfortable. Oh no. Go play with something. There's balls here, aren't there? Yeah, you can come play with this. Did not play this. Oh no. Okay, okay, that's not good. Um, well, let me see if I can make this horse a little bit more comfortable and then I'll try with this one. I can hand feed you some snacks. How about that? Oh my God, look at all the kids playing on this playground equipment. I didn't realize that it was even there. All right, everyone's in a better mood. I'm gonna try to enter a beginner barrel racing contest. This will be Mayo's first competition. I'd like to win at least one because we've, we've kind of been on a bit of a losing streak recently um, and it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Silver medal, that's fine. That's something, that's something. I can take that. Okay, <laughs> I feel a bit better. I'm gonna bring them all home though, and then I think I'll leave them at home, and then this evening, I might see if Annie wants to call up the ranch hand and ask her on a date. I keep calling her the ranch hand because I forgot her name. I just gotta be honest, I don't remember it. Sable, Sable, okay. I don't know if she wants to be asked out on a date. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go with her somewhere. We don't need to make it an actual date date because I don't think the date will work, but we can go to the bar. We'll go to the oak barrel and I'll bring Sable and we'll see what happens. I'd like to date her and then have her move in because I feel like she probably has a lot of very useful skills. Probably has like high handiness, high horse riding. So I feel as though it would be very effective for me to date her. Like I think it would make my life better. <laughs> So I'm gonna try. If we can try and build their friendship bar a little bit first, we'll be better off. <gasps> no, she left. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Please, please. Okay, she's coming back. Who else is here right now? Thistle Clark, what a nice name. There's a couple other townies that are here all hanging out together. She's back. All right, let's try that again. Take two. Maybe do a bold pickup line because you're feeling a little bit confident. Now she's flirty. Don your armor for night night and get a sweet discount. Oh, really? Are they all gonna start showing up in night costumes? Well, that will be interesting. Um, I, I'm curious to see. Lovable rascal. Looks like Annie just befriended a rascal. Okay, sure. Oh, here they come. <laughs> it is night night. There's another. Oh my. Well, we learned she's single. Give romantic gift. Um, <laughs> I've got this outstanding quality horse manure. Do you think she would react positively to that? I actually am curious to try. I love you. Here's some of my horse poop. It's outstanding quality horse poop. Oh, she liked it. Oh, good. I, I knew she would. I knew she would. Sable gave Annie a gift along with a thoughtful message. Every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. Oh my God, and she gave me a rose? Wait, I love her. The game keeps calling it a very awkward encounter because I'm technically still talking to two night costumes. <laughs> Jeff Yoder. I like his name. What do you think Jeff looks like? I'm gonna find out. Oh, good. He wants to be a public enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. What a nice guy. This is why you gotta check things like that. You gotta check before you start trying to date someone because all of a sudden you learn they're like evil and lactose intolerant. Oh, I'm at the wrong lot. That's okay. It's getting late. Annie should come home anyway. I will just ditch Sable at the bar, I guess. <laughs> I need to rehire the ranch hand every single day. And I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. I'm also pretty sure that I have not paid the ranch hand a single time, which makes me feel a bit guilty. But I mean, you know, I'm not complaining. 
I like money, so if I don't have to share it, that's fine by me. We got our first lemons just then, which is kind of good. And I probably have a few plants that I could sell for money, because a lot of these things we can't even turn into wine. Like, I surely don't need this much basil or anything. And maybe I'll plant this rose. Let's go craft some more apple nectar, shall we? Oh, she's doing my dishes. You know what? I like you, Sable. <laughs> You're nice. You help me out a lot. I'm gonna go spend the morning training again. That's kind of the routine that I've gotten into. And we're so close to level three. Oh my god. I think I need to buy some ingredients. I don't want to. It's really expensive, but I also would like to make a bunch of nectar so that I can make money off of it. So it probably is worth it in the end, just when it comes to skill building. I just don't want to spend the money for it. Come on, we're like this close. Oh, wait, Sable wants to take things to the next level. Will Annie be her girlfriend? Yes, yes. You want to be best friends too? Okay. Well, <laughs> what I was gonna say is we were like this close to getting the skill up. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Level three. After all this time, I just want one more skill point. No, it didn't even work. Are you serious? This is unbelievable. I had to buy more ingredients again. There we go. Level three, finally. <laughs> okay, we can make prairie grass nectar now, which I don't think will be that good for money, but it will be good for helping to build the skill. Greg right now is level six jumping, so we're doing pretty well. Do you want to just go for a ride around the neighborhood? Because you could go for an intense ride out here. Try and build some more skills that way too. Ew, no, look. Look at the stink coming off of her. She smells disgusting and she's stepping all in the nectar. Ew. Oh no. Well, I guarantee that will not be good quality. No way. It's excellent qual- it's excellent quality. Maybe that's the trick. Perhaps that's how you do- I don't even know you. Go away. Perhaps that's the way to get higher quality nectar is to just smell really bad when you make it. It takes a little bit of ranch dirt to make the stuff higher quality. All right, it's getting kind of late in the evening, so I might go do another horse competition or two today. I'll bring both the horses again. Greg has been absolutely failing at those Western pleasure competitions, so I might have him start the show jumping ones. He's also in a positive mood, so that'll increase our chances of winning, and it's only a beginner one, so we're definitely gonna win. We didn't win. <laughs> we got a bronze medal! Oh my god. Oh, at least we placed and we got some money back. That's so embarrassing. I literally just said we're definitely gonna win. No, no. I'm gonna try this intermediate barrel racing with Mayo. I don't know if we'll win because we don't have the recommended agility skill, but it's worth a shot. Oh, well, okay. I won. <laughs> Gold medal, first prize. I'm not complaining. That's fine. I just, I failed to understand what's happening here, but that's okay. Let's all go back home. At least she's in a good mood. I'm glad we managed to win something today. Let me get some food. Annie watching TV. I think that our girlfriend went home again. <gasps> More poop. Sorry, I've been trying to collect that stuff. That is outstanding quality horse manure right there. Whoa, it looks like my sheep has been slacking because this basil bush has weeds. Where is the sheep? Where actually, where is my sheep? Oh, my goat's over there. Can I ask where your friend is? They're so small. They're genuinely kind of easy to miss. I feel like I've looked everywhere and I don't see it. Little buddy, hello? Oh, there it is. Where did you come from? Genuinely, where did you come from? It's flying. Look at how cute that is. Yeah, you still have the help with gardening chore assigned. Someone just hasn't been doing it. Wait, Annie has acquired her first bottle of vitality nectar. Wait a minute. The overwhelming crush of death itself flipped upside down by the humble spinach. It goes to show that the right skill and ingredients can turn an end into a beginning. Effects, helps Sims feel happy, extends vitality for the living for a little, and for the dead by a lot. If nectar is at least lightly aged, Sims get a bit more vitality and a happy feeling persists after nectar wears off. Okay, this is not yet aged. Well, I'm gonna save that. I kind of want to test that out, to be honest. We found some strawberry nectar too. I think I'll leave this vitality nectar in a thing on its own so I don't lose it. We actually found quite a bit of nectar from that. I got an Another strawberry one. What would you do if I killed my sim just so I could test out that nectar? Would you be so mad at me? I hate to say it, but I, I really, really, really want to try it now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hi. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Sable was there at the door for a second. I kind of want to try to see if I can breed them. Maybe I can encourage them to socialize with each other and then encourage them to breed. Because when I did this in the past, it took me like three or four tries for the horse to actually get pregnant from the breeding. So if I want to have a foal eventually, it probably wouldn't hurt to start trying right now. Okay, I pressed encourage to breed. They're gonna do it. The animation's kind of cute. Okay, so pro tip that I've discovered. The game does tell you when they're pregnant 
second, but it takes a second to find out. So what I've realized after playing with cats and dogs for a long time is if you want to know if they're pregnant, but it hasn't told you yet, you can go into Cass, and if they are pregnant, it won't let you edit the sim. So like Greg, for example, obviously he is not pregnant. I can change him if I want to. I can change his age, stuff like that. But Mayo, oh, wait, it worked first try. <laughs> See, it says cannot edit pregnant sim. I didn't think it was gonna work first try, but that's that's a little pro tip for finding out if your sim is pregnant and you don't wanna wait for it to tell you. You can just go into cast and it'll say you can't edit them. I think it'll probably tell us tonight in game that she's pregnant, but we just haven't learned yet because she's been pregnant for like two seconds and I'm impatient. Well, that's exciting. We're gonna have a baby. I didn't think it was gonna work so easily. In the past has taken me a handful of tries for them to actually get pregnant. So I, I thought, oh, I'll start now. And then by the time I want a baby, I'll have one. No. <laughs> of course, of course, the time that I don't want it straight away is when it works straight away. All right, we're gonna have to save up and try and figure out a way to expand the barn or something, because there's not really enough space for all these horses. Well, how am I supposed to kill my sim now? <laughs> if I'm gonna have three horses, I need help. I can't kill one of these sims. No, I'm gonna bring him back to life. I'll, I'll use that vitality nectar. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I guess, assuming I can figure it out, I don't actually know how well it works. Well, I think this might actually be a pretty good stopping point for this episode. We're gonna have a full next time we play, which I'm very excited about. And let me know in the comments if you think I should kill my Sam to test out the nectar. I'm gonna do it. Even if you say no, I'm gonna do it. I'll fix it. I'll bring it back. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, um, I guess I'll catch you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Oh, I always have these evil little plans. I'm sorry. It's for science. I haven't used the nectar yet. I need to find out.